It's your online singing coach. Come start. Anong bago? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We're back again today with SB19. If this is the first time you've seen me react to SB19. Let me tell you, I'm a fan. I've got a playlist. Check out some of my other reactions. And I just want to shout out, first and foremost, before we start this reaction, I want to shout out to the SB19 fans. You all are just lovely. I really appreciate your kind comments, your enthusiasm for SB19. I really appreciate your positive energy. So y'all have told me that they have a new song. Oh, you have not told me how to pronounce it. Is it Hento or Gento? I suppose I'll be finding out soon when they sing it. I'm going with the performance video because I like to be able to see them in action in terms of actively performing the song rather than like living the story in like a music video. I can't wait. Let's, let's go ahead and dive in. No later, I woke up a big dead potato. Got God to shake me for major, but I stayed me not mediocre. Look up and tell me what you see. A oh, Gucci, but the real question is, is really me. A movie's definitely not my reality. Cause you see, model me, model me, model me. Ew, got yeah. yeah, I'm gonna see you later. Oh my gosh, I love this song already. We got through the first course. We got through a minute and 14 seconds of the song. That's all I needed to be like, I love this song. It's so catchy. And I believe that's Pablo's work. I don't know if they ever do any co-writing. In the comments, you've you've all you've always told me that Pablo's the writer. I don't know if if any of the other guys contributed to the writing or not. If there if this is purely Pablo. In any case, kudos to the writer of this song. The production is awesome too. Right away when that beat kicked in, I was like, mm-hmm. Then the kind of rapping stuff. Da -da 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 -da. I liked how the pitch changed there. That last rap section, I was like, wait, who's that? I couldn't see the singer. But my guess is that it was Ken. It's It had that lower kind of mm, a weight to it. So that must have been Ken, because I know he's got the low voice in the group. Josh really gave a lot of attitude and energy in his solo. I loved it. And of course, I've noticed consistently with Josh, that he does like to growl. He does like to use this ah sound in his vocal. So you can hear that there's a little bit of that there. So I can tell even with my eyes closed, okay, that's gotta be Josh there. He's the growler in the group. Justin loved your moment in this song. That last note he sang. Let's go back. Let's go back to Justin's solo because this is the first time I, I heard him have a little wailing moment. So now I know how to say this. It's not hento or gento, it's gento. That last note, ah there was so, there was some style, there was some passion, there was some power. I haven't heard that from Justin yet, and I love it. Good job, Justin. Yeah, it is Ken. Okay, 
Okay, before we go on to this next wrapping section, this is a very, very different vibe. I think I've been lately focused on SB19 ballads. So yeah, to see this energy in this song is like a whole new side of SB19. Aside from that, I'll even say that from the other up-tempo that I've seen of these guys, which was W-Y-A-T on Wish Bus, since that time, these guys have just grown. I really see it. They seem bigger. They just seem bigger. Each one of them is just like really, really bringing it. All right, let's keep rocking this song, guys. Tumunok ng bato, hindi maladana to Aadaramakin ako, tanging mekaniko Ay ako, na ng money money ko Sa daming pinagdaanan, nagpatong ng istoriko Usyoso mga chismoso, ligat po, manik na rito Hindi naman talaga manali, ang dinan ko manon di Sa likod ng mga tagong bawag ipin Kaya manan kong hapti, palisto Laging na listo, kahit pa si mavisto Ito pang nagrisbo, the base ko Yes! No rush, I can do this all day section. Oh, let me see if I remember everything. So we had Pablo doing this awesome rap where he started like spitting out the words so fast. <laughs> Super fast. Sounded so cool. Then it was Ken's moment of rapping again. And as I mentioned while it was rolling, only one person in this group has that voice. And he sounds great on the rap. I love how he went into his low range that, you know, is is very, very, I've mentioned before the word like manly. He's got like a manly uh, tone and it sounded really good on rapping here. I think, I think the ad-libs during the Gento, there's some singing ad-libs that was probably Stell is my guess. The choreography was so good. The production on this song, the beats, the instrumental hook. It's a hit. It is a hit. I don't know about you, but there are songs that sometimes I have to hear them over and over and over again before I can really form an, an opinion on just how much I like that song. But then there's also songs that you just hear it once. You just hear the first minute of it and you're like, yes. Now, was there a line in there about a baked potato? <laughs> what was that? All I remember is that was at the very beginning. It was uh, Pablo. Let me see if I can hear this baked potato line again, because I'm not sure I got that. I want some, I get some, no later. I woke up, I'm 
baked dead potato. Got dog shit me for major, but I stayed me. He got up and he baked a potato. <laughs> Okay, so maybe that's his breakfast of choice. <laughs> I'm more of an egg person myself, but okay, well, that works. That's, I'll, I'll give them points for some unique lyrics on that one. I don't think I've heard any lyric about a baked potato before, <laughs> but um, cool. So something else that I was just hearing when, we, when I restarted this track, listen to this vocal sample here at the very beginning. Yeah, just a nice little, it's just one of those subtle things, you know, like da, 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 da. it was a vocal part and you're not really consciously listening to it, but it's there and it's just, it's just ear candy. It's a very simple opening. It's mainly all about that beat, but just that one little vocal sample there just gives it some dimension and some deeper details there. I want some, I get some, no later. I woke up a big dead potato. Got dark shit, me for major, but I stay me, not mediocre. Look up and tell me what you see. I love this part. But the real question is, is really me. I move these up and I'm not my reality. Cause you'll see, model me, model me, model me, ew. Got theory. Yeah, I'm gonna see you later. Fucking apples, come a shower. Yeah, so cool. This song was so much fun. I just had to go back to the beginning again just to check out that first bit. You all told me that they could dance and I had not seen it yet. You weren't kidding. They are so on it. I love the choreography in this. I love how it switches back and forth sometimes to like slow motion moves and then regular tempo. What can I say people, this is a hit. This is a hit. Tell you what, I'm a member of the Recording Academy. You can guarantee that I will be voting for this song when it comes time for next year's Grammys. Lots of great energy. These guys are on their way. They are exploding. I am just thrilled to be on the journey with them because I am seeing the growth and the, the power building before my eyes. I just can't wait to see SB19 on the world stage. I can't wait for them to be discovered in a bigger way. And you're here for it, I'm here for it. We're gonna enjoy it together. I hope you enjoyed watching this with me. If you did, please be sure to hit subscribe. If you really enjoyed it, you can certainly hit the super thanks. I'm always grateful for that. And you can find me on Patreon. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.